This video is brought to you by Amazon. Sign up for a free six month trial of Amazon Prime Student with the link in the description below. Hey everybody, this is Mark with I Will Tech One Tweet, and in this video we're comparing all of the best browsers for Windows and seeing which one is the best. So for this video, we're gonna be comparing Internet Explorer to Microsoft Edge, Firefox, Chrome, and Vivaldi, and seeing which one is the best performing overall best browser. Internet Explorer is the old, really old browser from Windows that's been there forever. There's really not a lot you can do with it. And it's just kind of a simple tool to browse the web. Nothing special about it. And it does have a couple issues with modern websites like our logo, as you saw a little bit earlier. Edge is Microsoft's brand new browser with Windows 10. And it's a lot simpler and flat of a design. However, it loses some features like extensions for the most part. You can only download a couple of them from the Microsoft App Store. But other than that, there's really not a lot of stuff going on. And it does have a couple of issues as well. Firefox is made by Mozilla and it's a really popular browser for both Mac OS and Windows. It has things like extensions as well as themes. So you can really customize it. It's a fairly up-to-date browser and a lot of things support it and work perfectly. You all know Chrome. It's a really great browser for both Windows and Mac. It has its whole own app store, so you can download and install apps, themes, and extensions, and they have a ton of really awesome extensions and a huge selection of them. And then finally, we have Vivaldi. This is probably something you haven't heard of before, but it's actually a really awesome browser. It's built off of Chrome, so it features things like its very own Chrome web store that can download and install apps, as well as extensions, so you can kind of trick it out exactly like Chrome, but it's even better than Chrome. So now that we got all the differences set aside, let's go ahead and check out its performance. Now we're using Basemark to test things like CSS performance, HTML, web page load time, graphics, and a bunch of other stuff. So when we go ahead and hit the start button, you can see it fails and it doesn't work for some reason. I haven't been able to get working on Internet Explorer on any computer, so apparently Internet Explorer is just too old and it doesn't work. So moving on to Microsoft Edge, go ahead and hit the start button, let it run through its thing, and we'll be back once it's done. And it's almost done, and it looks like we scored 246.41 overall, and it did not work for the WebGL 2.0 test. You can pause it if you want to look at the other numbers. We'll go over that later in the video, but moving on to Firefox. And we'll hit the start button, let's run through its thing, and we'll be back once it's done. Firefox got a 191.73, yet again, it did not work for the WebGL test. You can pause it if you want to look at the other numbers. Again, we'll look at that later in the video. And moving on to Chrome. Chrome 2 did not work with the WebGL test, but it did score a 333.88. So, high so far. In our last browser, it was Vivaldi, so let's go ahead and check that one out. So most surprising, this is the only browser that passed all of the tests and nothing didn't work. It scored a 435.7. And as you can see right here, this is all of the scores side by side for the overall <laughs> and Internet Explorer down there in the middle didn't even work. So here's all the browsers side by side for each category. And as you can see, Vivaldi crushed every single browser in the overall section. Second place is Chrome, followed by Edge, Firefox, and the Internet Explorer wasn't even working. Chrome and Vivaldi are about the same in both CSS and HTML, which is understandable because Vivaldi is based off of Chrome, and Edge and Firefox are pretty close together on those two as well. All four of them are pretty similar for page load and resize capabilities, so whichever one you go for for those, it'll be about the same. But out of all these, Vivaldi and Chrome are by far the best ones in the winners, but so far on round one, Vivaldi is in first place. So finally, we want to know how they perform with network speed tests and seeing if they're actually utilizing the speeds that they're supposedly having. So we did test on speed test and keep in mind that there's gonna be a little bit of variation, but putting everything side by side, we can see that they're all about the same for the download speeds, really not a huge difference at all between them. And the same story is true for the uploads, except for Internet Explorer. That has the lowest out of all of them. So whichever browser you pick, except for Internet Explorer, should be fairly reliable and accurate. 
with uploads and download speeds. So there you have it. Those are the comparisons of all of the browsers. Vivaldi is by far the best browser in the winter because it takes what Chrome already has super great and makes it even better. Let me know what your favorite browser is down in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with iobletech 128 and I will see you in the next one.